this is the incredible economic growth in Britain from the Industrial Revolution that completely changed the world. And these are some key factors explaining why it happened at the time and place it did, before spreading out from Britain to the rest of Europe over the following decades. Because the Industrial Revolution fundamentally transformed society, it is important to understand the key factors that caused and accelerated it. New papers have evidence of some of these key factors from looking at why similar parts of Britain industrialized at different rates, which are the following. Wars between Britain and France that caused shortages of workers, entrepreneurs that were enabled by the English Reformation, and money made by slave owners. I will deep dive into how each one of these played an important role in the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution started around 1750 and came from inventions and improvements that made people able to produce more. This change happened slowly at first and then much quicker, eventually outpacing the population increase, a shift towards self-sustaining growth. This changed the economy from one centered around farming towards more machine manufacturing and industry because fewer people were needed to feed the whole population. These technological changes introduced completely new ways of working and living, which fundamentally transformed society. The Industrial Revolution happened over a long period of time, and finding the exact causes for why it happened at the time and place it did is difficult and depends on innumerable factors, where these new papers highlight some of these. The first one is war. Between 1713 and 1815, Britain fought France in the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. This is a map of where the British Royal Navy recruited people in England and Wales to go fight in these wars. The darker parts are where recruits per person was higher, and the lighter parts are where recruits per person was lower. This is a graph where the horizontal axis represents the military recruitment rate in a location, and the vertical axis represents the amount of productivity increasing machines in that same location. These data points show how higher recruitment is slightly correlated with using more machines, but this line only shows the locations without any mechanics. This line shows how the correlation in locations with mechanics is much stronger. Britain was home to many people that made good mechanics, such as scientists or tinkerers who were interested in mechanical problems. This graph therefore shows us that both the shortage of workers and the skill of the mechanics are important factors to spread the use of productivity increasing machines. The second key factor recently highlighted is the importance of entrepreneurs. This is a map showing the monasteries in England and Wales in 1535, where each dot represents one monastic property. Monasteries are buildings that monks live in. Before 1535, these properties could not be sold, which was the norm for most of the land in England at the time. But in 1535, King Henry VIII started the English Reformation, breaking away the Church of England from the Catholic Church. This began the dissolution of monasteries, which made their land much easier to buy and sell. This opened up the door for entrepreneurs to make more effective use of the land. This dissolution of monastery land was associated with a new class of commercially minded farmer, an entrepreneur, which had significant positive effects on industrialization. It could be seen that these monastic farms had much higher yields than other similar ones that could not be traded. The third key factor highlighted is how the Industrial Revolution was accelerated by money from slave owners. Building the factories needed to industrialize and make workers more productive requires investment, which requires money. This wealth could have come from different sources, but the researchers of this new paper have come up with a creative way to show how areas with successful slave trade investments had increased levels of industrialization later on. 
other factors could have made these areas amass wealth from slavery and industrialize quickly, but these researchers look specifically at slave ship voyages. Because these ships relied on sailing, the trips could take very different amounts of time depending on the wind. The longer the voyage was, the lower the survival rate of the slaves would be, which would make the trip less profitable for the traders. Among similar areas in Britain, it could be shown that areas where the inhabitants' ancestors had unusually short voyages industrialized faster than those where their ancestors had unusually long voyages. This shows that those that had successful slave trade investments generally industrialized quicker because of having more money to invest. This shows how slavery played a part in accelerating the industrial revolution after it had started. These key factors of wars with France, entrepreneurship on monastery land and money from slave owners show how different factors played into the start of the industrial revolution which all contribute to a better understanding of why it happened at the time and place it did.